Hey guys, PSV here, and welcome to a part one of the series of Scan Your Truck Driver Simulator. I'd like to just say I apologise for not making any videos for about a month. It was due because I've been heavy streaming and I moved all my room around, got a new setup, so it that took up a lot of time and I had quite a few computer problems, but I think these problems are now sorted. So we are back for more YouTube videos. Start kicking it off with a brand new game I actually picked up today. So this is uh, Scan Your Truck Driving Simulator. I do I think it's a bit of an older game but you know what I'm like with my truck games so let's get the show on the road so first of all we're going to start with driving license so as you can see here I've already had a play around on my on a my own private account um, but this one that we're starting now is from the very beginning so you're not missing nothing so let's start driving so the first one on the driving license is a brake test so let's try do this so I'm guessing this one to start with yeah it's just pull forwards and then hope for the best so I'm using a Logitech G27 in these videos so I'm doing all the gears and clutch manually in that in that's in isn't it he stalls it on his first go what oh Talk about being pedantic. Come on. <laughs> anyway, next challenge. I just forgot you have to pull in quite close to the cones. Let's see what the next challenge is, shall we? Oh, so we've got reverse. This is what I'm not very good at. Reversing. Let's give it a shot, shall we? So let's just take a nice little view out of here. This one's pretty simple, it's lined us up already. So you don't want to hit no cones at all because you get penalty points. Here we go. Next challenge. Let's have a quick look. And we're on the third one already, guys. But this is where they start getting a bit harder. So as you can see on this one, we've got a pull forward and then go right, but reverse it in. This could take a bit of time. But we're happy enough to give it our best shot, won't we, guys? So we're going to go in nice, nice and easy. Easy does it. So we stop here. So you have actually got to wait for it. Or you've got to make sure it goes green like that. So then you know you can proceed and go on to your next little bit that you got to do. I do notice that on this the clutch is totally, it's a bit different compared to Euro Truck what I'm used to. It does seem to stall it a lot more. Wait up, oh, what am I doing there guys? Straighten up. See? You see what I mean? It's a bit weird the clutch on here. I had my foot down on the clutch as so. well. You wouldn't have thought it would you? Oh, getting a bit close to them cones there. Let's just swerve it round a bit. So, oh, we've got loads of room the other side, but we can do it there. There we go. Next challenge. let's have a look at this next challenge so we've got to do basically the same procedure but we've got a bank left this time or go left shall I say so I'm going to pull straight in so then it turns green do 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 oh just went a bit past it then I've keeping it okay uh, the idea I find on this you do need to definitely weigh up messed up already first thing you do you've got to keep an eye on your mirrors big time so what I think I might do is just so just have a look out of this mirror I've got an external mirror up on the top left as you can see but I like I like looking at the rear of the cab I find it quite helpful I like this sort of view of why I'm backing up
Come on. Yeah, yeah we've done that all right then. I think we've done that one better than the last one. Let's go on to the next challenge. Let's see what this one's all about, shall we? Oh, so this one could be a bit trickier. This one may take a bit more time. Um, so we've got to understand the behaving of the how the trailer turns and the steering wheel and stuff like that. So what I think we're going to do is just chuck it in reverse. What we're going to do? We're going to turn that way. Keep an eye on that left mirror that we've got up there because we might even have to just pull forward, you know, a bit, like get there, try and get lined up as best we can and pull forward, so it makes us life a bit easier for us. Is he going to do it? I just don't want to hit that cone, you know, we don't want those points, those penalty points. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into that, let's just have a look. Right, I think what we're going to do is chuck it in first and then do what I said line it up a bit. See, you see what I mean? What? Why when I say line it up? You kind of get an understanding of... See, I had my foot on the clutch, that's what I don't understand. I do definitely think I need to go through these Logitech settings more on this game. You don't want them penalty points. we done it. That's quite cool. Let's see what the next one is. Oh, what's this? Parallel Park. Oh, this could take a bit of time. Right, so we don't particularly want to use an external cameras. I did on my other account, but I noticed I was using the overhead camera. If worst comes to worst, but you do lose points if you use that. Believe it or not. But to be honest, because I'm new to all this parallel parking and stuff, I do think I'm going to have to use an overhead camera. But you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? I just don't want to hear that kind of yet. So you see, I was going in quite nice and neatly, but you just got to watch them cones behind you. So I will lose a little bit of point for using this right, camera angle but now I think what I'll do is I turn it that way oh oh I got a penalty for collision I must have just clicked that cone As you can tell, I'm not very good at parallel parking. What we do, we see what I mean. It, I don't think this clutching's right on this game. I think it, there must be a setting for this. I had my foot straight down on the clutch, so it shouldn't be stalling or going to stall. You know. There we go. We're sort of getting in there slowly but surely. Right, let's turn the steering wheel this off the other way this time because we might be able to push the trailer that sort of way. Oh, I moved the cone, but I didn't get no penalty points. Right, I'm not liking this one, I can tell you that for a start, guys. I think what we're going to do, we're going to start fresh on that one. We'll start fresh on that one, guys, because I think I'm going to use this overhead camera. I know I lose points, but like I've explained to you before, guys. Way, where am I going? Let's start again. <laughs> Mm. 
Okay, I've already still got it in reverse, what's good, like. I don't know, well, I seem to oversteer it a bit too much. It seems to have too much oversteer. But you see, because the trailer shouldn't be going that way. That's not going to plan. Oh, I'm not liking this, guys. I can tell you that. This one I'm not liking at all. <laughs> what am I doing? I just made it more difficult for myself, I think. Yeah, I have. See, why is it... It shouldn't be steering that much, do you know what I mean? Look, and the clutch goes. To be honest, if I had to rate this game, I'd probably give it about 7, 6, 7, because of the steering wheel problem. It shouldn't be doing this. But it does seem quite a good game. It's definitely one of them games that does test you. We got much room to come back. Now, if I come on, PSV, you can do this. Yes! Hallelujah! <laughs> so yeah guys, I am going to rate this, you see, I've lost points here because I use the extra cameras, you know, but that is the way this game goes. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is wrap the video up, this is part one. I think part two, we're going to finish off all the driving license and then part three, we'll be moving on to the other adventures. So guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm sorry that it took a bit of a while, but I'm new to the game, you know. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And please, please, please go and check out my Twitch TV uh, channel. All links down below. And I hope you all enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys. Maybe in my stream or in my future videos. Have a good day. And I hope I have managed you to sway your mind a bit to go and purchase this game. Because it is a good game. But it's one of them games that can frustrate you. So like I said guys, thanks for tuning in. And I hope to see you in my next video. Cheers guys.